Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Mr. Elf takes a holiday. Food delivery! Ah, thank goodness. Breakfast at last. Yes, sorry, I'm running a bit late today. I have a splendid king's breakfast for you, though. Egg and baked beans. Egg and beans? But today is Tuesday. We have muffins on Tuesday. Tuesday already? What happened to Monday? That was yesterday. Was it? You've been working too hard, Mr Elf. No, no, no. I'm fine. You need a holiday. Yay! A holiday! And you can come too, Holly. Ooh, can I, Daddy? Yes, of course, Holly. Have a good time. But... I can't have a holiday. Who will make my deliveries? Nanny Plum can. No, I can't. Of course you can. Any fool can drive a truck. What? But, but I'm the king, remember? And I sentence you to a holiday. Hello, Mrs Elf. I have some terrible, terrible news. Oh, no. What is it? King Thistle. What about him? Has sentenced me to... Prison? I won't stand for it. <coughs> Revolution! Up with the elves! Down with the king! <coughs> it's worse than that. He has sentenced me to... A holiday. holiday! Oh, my goodness! I knew you'd be upset. This is wonderful! We never go on holiday. What are you talking about? We went to the seaside. That was a day trip. And we went to the moon. But you left me behind. Oh, yes. Very well. Let's go on holiday. Hooray! This is the plan. First, we take the elf plane and fly somewhere nice. Oh, lovely! We have a quick snack. Yes. Then we'll pack up and fly back home in time for me to do my evening delivery. That's not a holiday! Now listen to me, Mr Elf. You're taking us away for at least a week to somewhere hot and you're going to relax. But I'm an elf and elves don't like relaxing. Well, you just have to learn. It's going to be fun, Mr Elf. <sighs> All right. But this is an elf holiday, so no magic wands, Holly. OK, Mr Elf. And no pets. <laughs> Aw, Dad! It's my holiday. I make the rules. Sorry, Gaston. You have to stay here. Bye-bye, <coughs> Gaston. Come on, everyone. We're going to be late for the holiday. <coughs> Please, Mr Elf, try to have fun. All right. I'll try. Ready for takeoff? Yes! Let's go! I can't relax now. What if something goes wrong? Oh, don't be silly. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, no! What is it, Dad? The engine has broken. We'll have to land. Where are we? In the middle of nowhere. It's just water down there. Prepare for a big splash. Dad, a desert island. Good. Everyone out. Wow, a real desert island. Brilliant, isn't it? It is very pretty. What a lovely beach. Stranded on a desert island. Now what do we do? Relax, darling. There are worse places to be stuck. Yes. yes. We can have our holiday here. Who'd like some lemonade? But after the holiday, how do we get home? We could send a message in a bottle. Clever Ben. That's what people on desert islands do. We write a rescue note, put the note in the bottle and then throw it out to sea. Then all we have to do is wait until someone finds it. Fantastic. And how long does that normally take? Usually about 20 years. What? 
Well, there's no rush. But what about the little kingdom? What about the great elf tree? What about my elf deliveries? Oh, stop worrying. I'm sure the elf delivery can manage without you. Fairy delivery! Ah, Nanny Plum, have you brought my potato? You always have potatoes, so I brought you an onion. What? Why? For a change. Have you got my baked beans? I've got you a pineapple. But I don't like pineapple. What about my sausages? I've got you some blue cheese. But I hate blue cheese. Oh, you're such a bunch of fuss pots. Honestly. It was better when Mr Elf did the deliveries. Yes, he knew a sausage when he saw one. Well, you'll just have to make do with me. Mr. Alf is on holiday, having fun. Stuck on a desert island. I am so bored. Do try and relax, darling. I can't. I need something to do. That's not relaxing. It is for me. I relax by being very busy. Maybe I'll explore the island. I could work out how big it is. Do you think there'll be anyone else on the island? No, I don't think so. <gasps> Footsteps. <gasps> so something does live here. Yes, a wild beast. Let's follow its tracks and find it. All right, but we must take care. The wild beast might be dangerous. The tracks lead to this bush. There's something in there. The wild beast. It's Gaston! Yeah. How did you get here? What's that? You hid in the plane, swam ashore when we weren't looking, and hid in the bushes, you say? Clever Gaston! But I thought I said no pets! Gaston could be useful, Dad! Gaston, we need food. Can you find some? <laughs> Gaston's good at sniffing out food. <gasps> A coconut! It's huge! Yes, enough food and drink to last us for weeks. Well done, Gaston. Stand clear! Hooray! You know, this holiday isn't so bad after all. I shall call this place Elf Island. Ben and Holly have been gone for ages. I do miss them. Me too. Oh, what's that? It's a message in a bottle. <gasps> it's from Ben. It says, trapped on a desert island, Dad bored, please rescue. Let's go and tell the wise old elf. Wise old elf! Wise old elf! We found a message in a bottle from Ben Elf. Oh, my goodness. Launch Elf Rescue. We have a family to save. Elf Rescue, our go. Dinner time. Who wants coconut? Ugh. We've had coconut every day for weeks. Coconut soup. Coconut pie, coconut pancakes, curried coconut. Ah, but tonight it's coconut surprise. What's the surprise? It's coconut. <sighs> coconut surprise? Delicious. Mmm, who's having a great time? I know I am. I want to go home. Me too. Yes, I do too. Home? I can't go home. I've got too much work to do here. I need to finish the hut, start on the garden, and I haven't even thought about the plumbing. No, the last thing I want to do now is go home. It's Elf Rescue! Hooray! Hello, we're here to take you home. Oh, thank you! But I haven't finished my work on Elf Island. But there's work for you back home. Nanny Plum hasn't quite got the hang of the deliveries. I wanted a potato and she brought me an onion. Onions instead of potatoes? That's crazy. I'll have to sort that out. So home we go. Bye-bye, Elf Island. Yes.
Yes. Bye-bye, Elf Island. I have to admit, that's the best holiday I've ever had. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Betty Caterpillar. <laughs> to you, Gaston. <laughs> to you, Ben. <laughs> to you, Holly. <laughs> to you, Bobby Bee. And Bobby B. Would you like to play too? That must mean yes. Um, let's play racing. Fastest across the meadow is the winner. Can we fly? No flying and no magic. Okay. Ready? Steady? Go! <laughs> Gaston showing us some tricks. Good idea, Ben. We can sit and watch for a bit. <laughs> Look, Betty Caterpillar is sad. I think she feels a bit left out. <laughs> I know how to cheer her up. Oh, good. Go on then, Ben. <laughs> Don't be sad, Betty. Flying isn't everything. Elves can't fly and I'm an elf. <laughs> that didn't cheer her up much. Maybe I can make her fly by magic. Can you do that? Um, I think so. Abracadabra, fly, Betty, fly. <laughs> wow, it worked. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that to happen. We need to rescue her. I could do another spell. No, no, I've got a better idea. <laughs> Yahoo! Whoa, steady, Betty. Whoa, whoa. <gasps> That's better. Brilliant. Ah! Ah! Hello, Holly. Oh, hello, Daddy. Whoa! What on earth is going on? Uh, Ben's in a spot of bother. Whoa! Help! Ah, I see. Help! Help! Liberty Flop! Stop, stop, stop! What were you doing to that poor creature? We were just trying to help her. Betty's sad that she can't fly. I see. Well, you needn't worry. She'll be flying soon enough on her own. How? Well, because she's one of those, uh, insect things. A caterpillar? Thank you, Ben. Yes, a caterpillar. And they change, don't they? Do they? Of course they do. So you've nothing to worry about. Uh, right. If you want to help, you can find her some leaves to eat. So if we 
want to help her fly, we have to find more leaves. Exactly. She needs to eat lots and lots of leaves. Why? You'll see. First, gather up the leaves. OK, let's see who can get the most leaves. OK, you're on. Too many leaves? Yes, she is a tiny bit fat. There's no way she'll ever fly. That's better. She's a good weight now. Uh, Daddy, how can this help Betty fly? <laughs> You'll see. Home time! Ah, oh, that's Nanny Plum calling me in. Ben! Home time! And that's my dad. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Ben. Good night, Betty. us to feed Betty, but now she's so big she'll never fly. Daddy must be wrong. Holly, Daddy's never wrong. He's a king and he's very, uh, wise. But how will Betty fly? Wait and see. Good night, Holly. Good night, Mummy. But how will Betty Caterpillar fly? Well, she won't exactly be a caterpillar anymore. Ah, uh, I don't get it. You will tomorrow. Good night, Ben. Good night, Dad. Morning time! Where's Betty? Um, I don't know. But look at that. Ugh. What is it? Don't know, but it wasn't here yesterday. Hiya. Hi, Violet. Hi, Strawberry. Ugh. What's that? We don't know. It's a cocoon. Caterpillars make them. So, is Betty Caterpillar inside? Yes, but when she comes out, she won't be a caterpillar anymore. What will she be? Um, maybe a frog. A frog? Or maybe a bird. I see. Betty Caterpillar's going to turn into a bird. Then she'll fly. Ah, a cocoon. Yes, Daddy. Betty Caterpillar is inside it. And when she comes out, she'll be able to fly. Because she'll be a bird. Ah, uh, actually, caterpillars don't normally change into birds. Do they change into frogs? Um, not frogs either. But what will she? <gasps> <laughs> Hello, Betty. Oh, she looks the same. <laughs> Wow! She's a butterfly! Betty Butterfly! <laughs> Look! They're all flying together! She looks really happy! Let's join them! <laughs> Now everyone can fly. <laughs> I can't fly. Uh, ben, I thought elves were rather good at using ladybirds to fly. That's right. Elves can fly on ladybirds. And I'm an elf. <laughs> Gaston! 
Thanks, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. Yeehaw! <laughs> Betty Butterfly. Today's adventure starts on Picnic Hill. Honeybees. Ah, I do love a good picnic. Yes, nothing beats eating in the great outdoors. Sandwich, Mrs Elf? Thank you, Queen Thistle. Sandwich, darling? Mmm, yummy. Honey sandwiches, my favourite. <laughs> ah, buzz off. Go away. <laughs> Daddy, they're only bees. Well, I don't like them. They're good for nothing. Good for nothing? The honey in your sandwich comes from bees. No, it doesn't. Honey comes from a jar. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Didn't you go to school, dear? Yes, King School. We learned to wave. <laughs> <laughs> Ben's right, King Thistle. Bees do make honey. Really? How do they do that, then? It all starts with a flower. The bees eat sweet nectar from the flower. They eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and... Yes, thank you, Mrs Elf. When they've eaten lots of nectar, they take it back to make honey in the beehive. I'd love to see the beehive. I'll take you there if you like. Good idea, Mr Elf. And while you're at it, can you get me some more honey? Of course, Your Majesty. We'll bring you back a nice, fresh jar of honey. Mr Elf, how many bees live in the hive? Oh, there are thousands of bees in a hive. Thousands? Wow! They must make a right old racket. Oh, yes. Get ready for the loud buzzing. It will be very noisy indeed. Oh, it's very quiet. Wise old elf, where are all the bees? They've gone. Gone? gone? Yes, flown off. We're waiting to see if they come back. There, that's the queen bee. The rest of them always follow her. Good. She's led them all back into the hive. Everyone relax. All's back to normal. Now then, Ben and Holly, what can we do for you? We've come to see how bees make honey. Well, you've come to the right place. This is the beehive, and I'm the beekeeper. We need a jar of honey for the king. No problem. So, I suppose we go in and get some. Where's the door? Hang on, Nanny Plum. You can't just walk into the hive. There's thousands of bees in there with thousands of stings. And they wouldn't be too pleased if we tried to take away their honey. Oh. So what do we do? First, we make the bees sleepy. How? Well, it um, involves magic. But I thought you didn't like magic. I don't. But when I'm about to walk into a nest of angry bees, I'm prepared to bend the rules. Who does the magic? Oh, any old fairy will do. Nanny Plum, can you do a sleep spell for me? All right, then. <laughs> oh, Nanny, not the wise old elf. The bees. <sighs> Why doesn't he say what he means? Uh, 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 what, what happened? Right. So, just to be clear, you want me to magic the bees to sleep? If you wouldn't mind, yes. They're all asleep. Good. Now it will be much safer. So now, do you go in and get the honey? Not quite yet. We need a fail-safe. A fail-safe? What's that? Extra safety in case our first safety measure fails. Watch this. It's very clever. What's he doing, Nanny? Goodness knows. It'll probably be stupid, but funny. 
Ta-da! Told you. He's dressed as a bee. Yes, so if the bees do wake up, they'll think I'm a bee and not sting me. You're fail-safe. Yes, Ben. Now I simply fly into the hive. But you can't fly. That's where the elf helicopter comes in. Lift me up. Lifting. Bees asleep. Check. Bee costume on. Check. Jar for honey. Check. Go, go, go. Now watch a beekeeper at work. Calm, safe and sensible. I'm a bee. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Lower me in. I'm inside. Take me down. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Oh, all this for a jar of honey. Yes, it's very exciting. Too far. Up a bit. Now left a bit. The bees will wake up soon if he doesn't get a move on. I'm in position. Quick, wise old elf. <laughs> Waking up. Come on, wise old elf. Hurry up. There we are. Done. Calm, safe, and sensible. Eh? Ah, nice bees. Uh, just borrowing a bit of honey. Um, I'm a bee. Buzz, buzz. Pull me up. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Pull me up. Mission accomplished. Calm, safe and sensible. What are those bees doing, Nanny? They seem to be following her. Ah! Bee swarm! Get me out of here! Look, there's loads more of them. Why are they following him? Maybe they think he's the Queen Bee. Ah! Faster! Little castle. Thank goodness the window's open. Hmm, bit of a draft in here. Let's close the window. Yeah, goodness me. Wise old elf, what are you? Ah, my jar of honey. What an amazing delivery service. You're even dressed as a bee. Yes? Let me in! What are you playing at? Shh! What's going on? Bees! Bees! Ah, yes. I used to be frightened of bees, too. But it turns out they're quite useful. Shush! Who switched the lights out? Follow me quietly, Your Majesty. Where are we going? Shh! Wise old elf, there better be a good reason for this, or good grief! What are those bees doing? Uh, the bees have decided that the little castle is their new home, Your Majesty. What? But looking on the bright side, you can have all the honey you can eat. Why have they all come here? They followed me because they think I'm the Queen Bee. Well, I don't want them on my castle. Shh. If the bees notice us, they'll follow me again. Oh, I see. Well, why didn't you say so? Hello, bees. He's over here. Cooey. Ah! Get me out of here. Don't worry, wise old elf. I've got you. Wait. What about my honey? They're getting closer. Try to shake them off. Right, oh, hang on! Ah! Oh! Out! Oh! Ah! I'll try going lower. Aren't we a bit near the... Pond? <laughs> There's the Queen Bee. I mean the wise old elf. Here come the bees. Come on! Here's your Queen Bee. Uh, 
And that is how you get a jar of honey. Calm, safe, and sensible. <gasps> What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen a beekeeper in his underpants before? Calm, safe, and sensible. Yes, exactly. It's all quite easy when you're an expert beekeeper like me. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Queen Holly. Children, your mother and I are going away for the day on royal business. Which means you will be at home, alone with Nanny Plum. Ooh. Everything will be fine, your majesties. So no funny business. I don't want to come home to find the kingdom covered in frogs or jelly or anything. No, no Daddy. Daddy. Because while we're away, you represent King and Queen Thistle. Does that mean I can be queen? <laughs> well, I suppose it does. Just for today. Brilliant! Magic car, drive on. Bye! Bye. Be good. Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> queen Holly. Hmm, I like the sound of that. <clears throat> Hello! I'm Queen Holly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Ben. Hello, Nanny Plum. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Holly's much too busy to play today. She has a kingdom to run. Huh? Ben! Come up here, quick! OK. <laughs> Hi, Holly. Queen Holly to you. What? Mummy and Daddy have gone on a trip today and left me in charge of the whole kingdom. Wow! So I'm Queen Holly. Hello. Hello, Nanny Plum. I've come to collect Ben Elf. It's time for school. OK, I'll just... Nanny, send the wise old elf up. I'll sort this out. Very well, Your Majesty. Enter. Hello, Princess Holly. I'm not Princess Holly. I am Queen Holly today. I've got no time for these fun and games. I've come to collect Ben for school. Oh. Wait, Ben. Mummy and Daddy are away today. So I am in charge of the whole kingdom. Is this true, Nanny Plum? I'm afraid so. And I have just decided that Ben does not have to go to school today. It's the law. Well, this is most unusual. In fact, there'll be no school for anyone today. No school for anyone? Yes. It's the law, because I am Queen Holly. Um, as you wish, Queen Holly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. The children will be most upset when they hear the news. Children, I'm afraid Queen Holly has informed me there will be no school today. What shall we do all day? Uh, play games! Yes, you've got to play games and be happy because I am Queen Holly! Thank you, Queen Holly! Right, Mr Elf, next on the list, 
a delivery of food for the little castle. Right ho, Mrs Elf. Gosh, what a busy day. Yes, but elves like being busy. And, and we're, we're elves. elves. <laughs> Make way, elf at work. There's no work today, Mr Elf. It's a holiday. Is this true, wise old elf? <laughs> I'm afraid so. But I've got an urgent delivery of food for the little castle. I suggest you come back tomorrow. Righty-ho. Bye. Bye. Talking of food, I'm getting a bit hungry. Me too. And me. And me. And me. And me. Queen Holly. We're hungry. Very well. I command you to eat something. <laughs> Being queen is easy peasy. But no one has made any food. Everyone's on holiday. Oh. Queen Holly, if you would allow the elves back to work, we could make everyone lunch. No, no. You all have to have a nice day's holiday. It's the law. But we're hungry. We need food. Uh, I'll make food. Hooray! Now, what do you eat on holiday? Ice cream. Yes, that's it. You shall all eat ice cream. Hooray! Thank you, Queen Holly! Where are we going? To the kitchen. We can use Nanny Plum's cauldron to make the ice cream. Oh, are you going to make the ice cream with magic? Of course I am. But Holly, your spells don't always work out quite right. Making ice cream is easy peasy. Watch. Abracadoo, abracabong. Uh, ice cream for everyone all day long. <laughs> See, it worked. Wow. Ice cream's for everyone! Ooh, thank, thank you. you! I'll be back with more! <laughs> oh, there's quite a lot! Will it stop soon? Uh, I think I told it to make ice cream all day long! Oh, dear! Ah, <sighs> we'll soon be home. Yes. And it's good to see that the kingdom isn't flooded with frogs or jelly or anything. Yes. Holly must be behaving herself. Ah! There's too many ice creams! Make it stop, Holly! Make it stop! Uh, ziggity, ziggity, stop! 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 For you, that's better. Oh! Ah! Well, thank goodness the King and Queen aren't here to see all this mess. It's the King and Queen. Hooray! It's very nice of you all to welcome us home like this. May I be the first to say how pleased we are to see you back again, Your Majesties. While you were away... Yes, yes. I'm a bit tired, so if you'll excuse me. Ah, stop! Uh, maybe you should go for a little walk, Your Majesty. I've just got a bit of tidying up to do inside. Thank you, Nanny Plum, but all I want to do now is have a nice bath. <gasps> Whoa! Ah, ice cream. Sorry, Daddy. It's all my fault. I tried to be a good queen and make everybody happy, but it's a lot harder than you'd think. <laughs> yes, Holly. I know it is. Especially with elves. Elves are never happy. 
We are happy when we are busy. Elves like being busy. And we're elves! <laughs> In that case, I command you to go back to work at once. Hooray! And your first job will be to clean up all this ice cream. Thank you, Your Majesty. Three cheers for King Thistle. And Queen Holly. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Lucy Sleepover. Isn't it lovely having a picnic in the Little Kingdom? What's the Little Kingdom? You know, Daddy, where our friends, the fairies and elves, live. Now, Lucy, we've talked about this. Fairies and elves don't exist. But they do, Daddy. Yes, darling. You've met them yourself. Oh, <laughs> it's a charming idea, and I've joined in the game before. But let's not be silly. That's like saying talking animals exist. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. Ah, the talking animal. It's me, Ben Elf. Oh, hello, Ben. Why are you a rabbit? Holly magicked me into one by accident. <laughs> <laughs> ah! uh, was that a talking animal? Help, help. Rex, come back. <laughs> Rex, no, naughty dog. <laughs> Hello, Holly. Have you seen a talking rabbit anywhere? Yes, he was here just now. <laughs> here I am. Naughty Ben. When we magic you into things, you shouldn't run away. Can you change me back? Of course. <laughs> Phew, that's better. Now let's play a sensible game. Let's play catch. To you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> to you, Violet. <laughs> I wish I could play in your games, but I'm too big. No problem. I can just shrink you down. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, I'm tiny. <laughs> You're one of the little people now, Lucy. Will I be like this forever? No, only till the morning. You'll be big again tomorrow. Can you make Rex little too? <laughs> now you can do all the things we do. Ooh, can I go for a ride on Gaston? <laughs> okay, hold on to his feelers. Push forward to start. Whoa! And then pull back to fly. Would you like to see inside the great elf tree? Or the little castle? Or come to my house? Where is your house, Strawberry? Me and Violet live in the fairy village. Ooh, I'd love to see the fairy village. OK, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, the fairy village. Wow, do you all live inside toadstools? Yes. We used to live inside mushrooms, but the big people kept picking them. No one eats toadstools. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no door to get in. Yes, there is. It's a magic door. You have to tap three times and spin around and say, Open Sesame. <laughs> See? Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, Daddy. My dad's the fairy mayor. Yes, and you're here just in time for the meeting. What meeting? Emergency meeting! Emergency meeting! As your mayor, I have called an emergency meeting because there are big people in the meadow. <laughs> Two grown-ups, one little girl and a dog having a picnic. Now, as you all know, the big people are dangerous. I'll say they stepped on my granddad. And they ate my house. So we must be very careful. And if anyone sees any big people, sound the alarm. <laughs> I've seen a big person. What? Where? Who? Me. I'm a big person. Ah, a big person. Sound the alarm. Ah, big person. <laughs> Me? Don't 
Don't worry, Lucy. It's not your fault you're a big person. You're a little person now anyway. Lucy is our friend. Yes, look at her feet. They're far too small to step on anyone. Yes, she does seem a bit small for a big person. Holly shrunk me down. Oh, I see. But Lucy is our friend, whether she is big or small. In that case, we are forgetting our manners. Lucy, would you like to join us for lunch as our special guest? Lunch? Sorry, I just remembered. I'm having a picnic with Mum and Dad. We'll take you back. Come on. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. It's true, darling. There really are elves and fairies. And talking rabbits? Well, that's a new one on me, but obviously there are. No, I can't believe it. We must have imagined it all. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Ah! Lucy? Yes. Holly shrunk me down to be a little person today. Oh, that's nice, isn't it, darling? Mm. Don't worry, she won't be little forever. Just until the morning. I know, you could stay for a sleepover tonight. Oh, wow, could I? Of course, there's lots of room in the little castle. That would be brilliant. Can I? Uh, I think that would be fine. Have a nice time. Great. Bye, Mum and Dad. See you in the morning. <laughs> mm. Talking rabbits, elves, fairies, shrunken daughter. Come on, darling. Let's get you home. Yeah. Nanny, say hello to Lucy. Lucy? Who's Lucy? You know Lucy. Do I? She's normally a bit bigger. Oh, Lucy the big person. Hello. Normally a lot bigger, I'd say. I shrank her down. Lucy has come to join us for a sleepover. Well, what will happen when she grows big in the morning? The castle will explode. Don't worry. We'll make sure Lucy is out of the castle before the morning. All right, then. And Gaston and Rex can sleep in the kitchen. What? Oh, all right then. As long as they don't leave any muddy footprints. Oh! This is my bedroom. <laughs> we can have a midnight feast. Yes, you have to have a midnight feast at a sleepover. It's the law. <laughs> Gosh, I'm tired. Me too. And me. <sighs> is it midnight yet? No. <sighs> midnight is still hours away. But I'm so sleepy. <sighs> <sighs> We've got to stay up until midnight or it's not a real midnight feast. <sighs> Dum dee dum dee 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 doo dee dee dee. Oh my goodness! Rex, what are you doing here? It's morning! You could grow big again any second! Oh. Out! Out! Quickly! You're starting to grow! Ah! Out you go! Just in time! That could have been disastrous! <sighs> What's all the noise about? You woke us up. Holly, where's Lucy? Shh. She's still asleep. What? Well, wake her up and get her out of the castle. Quickly, before she gets big. Oh, yes, we forgot. Lucy, Lucy, wake up. What's happening? You're growing. Whoa, let's get out of here. Too late. Gosh, what a funny way to wake up. Lucy, are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. Morning all. Is Lucy around? Uh, yes. I just wanted to say sorry. Big people aren't all about smashing our houses and stepping on us. Ow! Oops, sorry, Mr Mayor. I didn't mean to step on you. 
that's quite all right. I couldn't have been stepped on by a nicer person. Um, how am I going to get out of the castle? Oh, a bit of magic will fix that. Phew. Thanks, Nanny Plum. Lucy, home time. That's my mum. I've got to go now. Thanks for the great time. Yes, it was fun. Next time we'll come to your place. Ooh, that would be great. Bye. 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 There you are. Hi, Lucy. Did you have a nice time? It was the best sleepover ever, wasn't it, Rex? <laughs> <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Tooth Fairy! <laughs> <laughs> That's enough playing for one day. It's time for Ben to go home. Bit longer. No, Holly, it's your bedtime. Is it your bedtime too, Nanny Plum? Goodness me, no. I have to work all night. You have to work all night? I'm a tooth fairy. You're a tooth fairy? Yes. When a child loses a baby tooth, they put it under the pillow before going to sleep. Then I take it away and leave a coin in its place. Wow! When your tooth falls out, for whom do you shout? The Tooth Fairy! Ooh, exciting! I have to collect a little girl's tooth tonight. Can we come with you, Nanny? Hmm, only if you're very quiet. We mustn't wake the little girl up. We can be quiet, can't we, Ben? Elves are very good at being quiet. And I'm an elf! Shush! Dear me! This is why there are no tooth elves, only tooth fairies. It's very late to be making so much noise. Shouldn't you be getting home, Ben? We want to see Nanny be the tooth fairy. But you've got school tomorrow, Holly. It's the school holidays. But it's very dark outside. Princess Holly could do with some night flying practice. But being a tooth fairy can be very dangerous work. We'll be very careful. But please can we go? OK, as long as you stay close to Nanny. Hooray! When your tooth falls out, for whom do you shout? The, the Tooth Fairy! fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Nanny, why did Mummy say being a Tooth Fairy was dangerous? There are lots of things you need to be careful of when you're flying at night. Like what? Ah! Cobwebs, for instance. Good evening, Madam Spider. Sorry for damaging your web, but the young elf isn't very experienced at night flying. <laughs> you. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, Nanny Plum. Nanny, what else do we have to look out for? <laughs> Windows. Where did that come from? Well done, Holly. You found the little girl's house. And that's the little girl. She doesn't look very little. Wow, look at that big girl. Shush, she's also got big ears to hear us with. So be very quiet. Follow me. <gasps> she's very pretty. Not too close, Princess Holly. <gasps> Her breath is pulling me in. Beat your wings! <laughs> As I said, we must be very careful. This is the tricky bit. I have to get the tooth from under the pillow without waking the little girl. How? <clears throat> Gently pillow up, up, up. Wow! wow. There it is. It's stuck. One, two, three, pull! Oh, thanks, Ben. That's what I call a big baby tooth. What about the coin, Nanny? Here it is. Oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, the little girl's written us a letter. What a nuisance. I love getting letters. But the children always want a reply. Now we'll have to come back again. Can I read it? Dear Tooth Fairy, 
What is it like to live in Fairyland? Fairyland. That makes it sound like some silly make-believe place. Did she ask about elves? Um, no, Ben. Maybe there wasn't enough room on the paper. But she does say, love from Lucy. That's a lovely name. Shush. Remember, Princess Holly, we mustn't wake her. Nanny, what happens to the tooth now? We give it to the elves. They take care of the rest. This way. Hopefully, there'll be no one there. Then we can just leave our tooth and go. Good evening. Can I help you? Oh, hello. Tooth delivery. Have you filled in your tooth report? Yes. There appear to be some details missing. Where was the tooth found? Ugh, under the pillow. Under the pillow. Dear me, you haven't even put the little girl's name. We know that. Her name is Lucy. Lucy. And she's written us a letter. Ah, a letter. There'll have to be a reply before morning. Oh. All right, it. Dear Lucy, um, it's very nice in the Little Kingdom. There are lots of fairies. And elves. OK, Ben. And there are lots of elves too. Love, Princess Holly. And Ben Elf. And Ben Elf. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Now we've got to take it back. We'll have to be quick. It's almost morning. Someone's coming. Hide under the bed. That must be Lucy's mummy. Oh no! The window's shut. How will we get out? This is elf work. Elves are good at opening windows and I'm an elf. <gasps> Stop, Ben. You'll wake Lucy. Sorry. <sighs> hmm. I think we're going to need more than one elf. <sighs> I'll ring for more elves. Oh, where can I get a signal on my phone? Don't stand too close, Ben. Ah! Help! Uh, what did Nanny say? Oh, yes. Beat your wings. But I'm an elf. I don't have wings. OK, um, flap your arms. Uh... Hello. <gasps> You're meant to be asleep. You're not supposed to see us. Who are you? Uh, I'm Holly. I'm a fairy princess. A real fairy princess with wings and a wand and everything. <laughs> yes. And this is Ben. He's an elf. <laughs> Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Oh, I wrote you a letter. Thank you. Oh, it's so little. It's a terrible signal. Wise old elf? Nanny Plum, don't you know what time it is? I didn't call to ask you the time. We're in a big house and the window's closed. I need some elves to rescue us. I see. How many elves do you need? All of them. We came in through the window, but now it's shut. There, it's open. Thanks, Lucy. It was nice meeting you, Lucy, but we weren't supposed to wake you. It's OK. I'll pretend to be asleep. Bye-bye. <laughs> hmm. I see you woke the little girl up. We didn't mean to, Nanny. Oh, it's OK. They always wake up. Elves to the rescue! Elves to the rescue! Now, where's this window that needs opening? You just came through it. But that's an open window. Yes, we've done it ourselves. We don't need you anymore. Sorry. Sorry? You've just dragged every elf in the kingdom from their beds. Shush! Can you be quiet? Of course I can. Elves are very good at being quiet. And we're, we're elves! elves!
Elves! No! This is why elves can't be tooth fairies. You're too noisy. Are you all right, Lucy? We heard a noise. It's OK. She's asleep. You can come out now. You! Bye, Lucy. See, See you again. again. Bye, Ben and Holly. Um, can we have a lift? I'm a bit too tired to fly. Up aboard. <laughs> that was fun. When your tooth falls out, for whom do you shout? The Tooth Fairies!